Hello, hello, it's Kitty Proud to be your thought organizer coming to you with yet another installment of Daily Decluttering Digest, our new series with everything that you need to uh, for your declutter journey and nothing that nothing you don't all right now this week we are talking about uh holiday decluttering and of course the holidays are a wonderful time to declutter but it can be pretty overwhelming to to even think about it right so this week is all about little tips to uh, to help you help you on that. Now, Monday we talked about uh, running around on Boxing Day, preferably. <laughs> I hope you've done this already. It being Wednesday, it being Wednesday, uh, December twenty eighth. But with any luck, you have run around. You've gotten rid of the obvious trash, the recycles, the the beer cans, whatever it is, and. Um, um, gone around with a basket, picked up, picked up things that don't belong in the living room, like your, like your, um, the kids' socks or uh, wine glasses or coffee cups, whatever it is. Pick them up, put them in the basket, take them to where it's supposed to be, that being the laundry room or the hamper, and um, and the kitchen. Don't do and don't do that housework right away. Yesterday we talked about yeah you um, I'll never use it. Thank you, but I'll never use it. If you've been given gifts that you know that you will never use, make the decision right away. Rip off the bandaid and decide what to do with it. Don't stick it in a closet for next year and maybe I'll re-gift it to somebody. No, re-gift it now or donate it. And don't forget that once it's left the giver's hands, it is yours to do what you what you want with it. Um, and yeah, just just do something about this right away. Uh, all right, today we are talking about purging your plastics. Now, uh, plastics have a way of breeding. I'm sure I'm sure that you would agree. Plastics breed. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. So what you want to do is take an hour or two, in, uh, should, no more than that, all right? An hour or two and go into your kitchen, wherever it is that you keep your plastics, your Tupperware, the bowls, things like that. I've been starting to do this myself because I was a little surprised at what I'd accumulated. So look at them, make sure that your, that your uh, plastic Plastic containers are in good repair, that they don't have any cracks in them, That because you'd be surprised, you know, if you throw them in the microwave, they they can, uh, they, they develop small little cracks. So make sure that they're all in good repair, that the lids and the bottoms match, yes, very important, can be very frustrating otherwise, and discard um, uh, even one or two margarine containers that you can't see through. You want to keep everything that you that you have that's see through. All right, and consider discarding a couple of the opaque ones. All right, uh, what else do you want to do today? You want to eat the food in the freezer. Now this has two benefits. There's probably food in the freezer that you uh, maybe meals that you've made that you uh, that. Yeah, they're they're getting long in the tooth. It's time to eat them, so you can make way for fresh food. And another bonus is this Christmas week you don't have to consider cooking. All right, it's all there and ready for you. Boom! Right? Uh, and also, there's bound to be. I know there is in my in my cupboards. But there's bound to be old candy in the cupboards, things that haven't been eaten that you know that you never will eat, possibly they were gifts, okay? So uh, toss and toss old candy. If you see some 100-year-old Rice Krispies, there's a whole story about that, which you can direct message me about. But anyway, if you see some really old food that you know that you don't want, get rid of it. So, all right, so go in, you can go into your kitchen, get, get make sure that your plastics all match, that uh, and that you toss toss any really old, especially candy, in in the covers and as a reward to yourself, don't cook this week. Just eat the food in the freezer. Don't forget to scroll down and download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter and book a free free and quick call with me, and we can conquer your clutter 
together. Till tomorrow, thanks for watching Daily Decluttering Digest. Bye for now.